Hello my soccer universe, <laughs> what a crazy afternoon this was with all the draw chaos, but we're not talking about it in this video. I actually decided now I'll do the Europa League video first. Uh, there are actually two reasons for it. Uh, the smaller one is that I already had the Europa League background up there, I had to just sh shuffle around a few jerseys. But the bigger one of course is that we had the entire chaos with the Champions League and the Champions League draw that had to be retaken that you will get in the next video. So I keep the two separated. Because uh, we have to talk a lot in both of which. So yeah, uh, I'm wearing Pauk, who are the biggest winner from the conference draw, at least to my, when I reran the statistics, you know, in percentage change uh, of their chances. However, they still don't crack the top 20 in the conference league. But you know, any excuse, I can wear this jersey. Very happy about that. And then, uh, of course, uh, the winner from, and we'll uh, see about this, also not back there, the winner from the Europa League draw is actually Betis, who also uh, got a pretty sweet draw overall. So what I want to do is I want to quickly run through uh, each of the draws, give you my uh, thoughts on the matchups. And then uh, we look also at the overall chances, how they have changed from before. So let's start in the Europa League. We had the following pots and the first uh, that came out was of course uh, Sevilla, who actually Sevilla is also the host of the final, but I think they will go in the ugly stadium and not in the in one of the in the home ground of FC Sevilla or Betis in any case. So um, anyone Betis against Sevilla matchup? Yeah. Anyone who will draw a Sevilla knows this is the Europa League and they drew Dinamo Zagreb, which of course they will be favored to move on against. But as I said, Dinamo Zagreb has a second match at home, so um, we'll see that. And the way I pull it here is that the team uh, that first is the one that will have the second leg at home, unlike UEFA. Uh, then Atalanta came out and they will play against Olympiacos. I thought it's an okay draw for Atalanta, but I, I, I don't know. Um, I think from all the opponents that they could get, this was probably one of the more uh, decent ones. Then we had uh, Leipzig play Real Sociedad. Sounds like a very interesting matchup, although at the moment Real Sociedad is training down. Leipzig also so-and-so, but maybe getting, I would say Leipzig are favorites in this one. But you know, the one thing about all these draws, we have now December. This will take two months until something, uh, until those matches are played. Lots of things can change in those two months uh, and then the big one and the one that I had in the thumbnail when I previewed the draw Napoli against Barcelona not the draw that I wanted to see uh, if I'm perfectly honest but you know Barcelona is uh, will play Napoli at this very moment I would give Napoli a slight advantage I, I think that by the time they will play um, things might well change and it might be Barcelona in favor we have to see whether Barcelona will get something on but that's the definitely the eye-catching matchup a one that at the moment seems rather level I would say maybe a slight favor still to Barcelona uh, but we got, got to see then uh, the other um, Seville team uh, chose uh, got Zenit a very very favorite draw. by the way I forgot uh, of the teams that I have but this is the big way now <laughs> but yeah um, so Betis against Zenit, I would actually say that Betis will be favored in this one. They are one of the few teams uh, from the Europa League to be favored against the Champions League opponent there. Uh, Rangers against Dortmund. This is what one when I saw Dort Dortmund come out and saw the possible pause. I think, yeah, Rangers, that would be a nice matchup. Will be very atmospheric in many ways. And I think that's what, what we'll get, although Dortmund should be favored in that one. You can already see they are uh, very much high up. In the favorite role now then the draw where both will be very happy happy brag against sheriff which was a, a tight draw because um the other team that was in the potlet was porto so we knew the brag at this moment could only play sheriff uh and that's probably the least heralded matchup among those eight and we finish with a kind of biggish matchup between lazio and porto although i would say porto are favorites rather easily favorites in that one although you know i always would like uh that the italian teams are but i gotta say the italian teams got a pretty tough draw in the europa league that is for sure uh if you look at overall favorites i don't have the second favorite uh, by leverkusen and i know i know i have always been saying however uh dortmund atalanta sevilla frankfurt now a move up ahead of barcelona only find them in seventh spot however 
Uh, you see that West Ham, Leverkusen, Frankfurt, uh, Monaco, Lyon and so on, they are already in the next round, which means that this uh, reduces uh, the chances of the teams that still have to play the playoff round. If I say conditional on um, advancing, Barcelona are actually favorites in the competition. They are the strongest team just ahead, ahead of uh, Dortmund, I think West Ham or something like that. So, uh, But at the moment, still, West Ham very much the favorites to win the Europa League because uh, Barca has to uh, get past an op opponent. We already can see Barca has a 56% chance of advancing. It means Napoli has 44%. Uh, you also see that uh, actually Leipzig against uh, Real Sociedad at the moment is much uh, tighter. I still see Leipzig as a favorite uh, there. So, yeah. So much for the Europa League. Uh, it was a decent draw. I mean, as I said, Barcelona, Na Na Napoli is for me the standout fixture there. Going into the Conference League, again, uh, there was always the issue. We don't know if Spurs or Vitesse are um, moving on. So they tried to make sure that, uh, as I pre uh, projected, that they will make sure that um, uh, whoever is drawn against them is not from Netherlands or from uh, England. And yeah, the game it, here it was even more clear that I think the teams that come from the Europa League will be more most likely uh, the favorites in their respective draws. So the first one out was Karabakh against Olympique de Marseille. I think an you're not an easy draw, but Marseille should make it through in this round. Uh, then Maccabi Tel Aviv, a team that lost beat against PSV. I think PSV needs to roll over Maccabi Tel Aviv. And I realized I'm still having the old logo for Maccabi Tel Aviv. I'm not going to change it for, for this season, but yeah. My apologies, Maccabi fans. Um, but given how Maccabi is doing in the league, how against a mid-table Austrian team they could not win, PSV should be the big favorites in that one. Slavia against Fenerbahce, I think is the first one there where I would say, yeah, that is a so-and-so matchup. I think Slavia is much stronger than one would expect. And Fenerbahce, I can, it's hard for me to gauge where they're at. So um, I think Slavia here... I, I would personally put them as slight favorites. Then Park against Midtjylland, uh, not the easiest opponent, but on the on the other side of what could have been, I think that's why Park up there. Midtjylland are probably the least heralded team next to Sparta or, or whatever in there. So um, could be interesting. Copenhagen had actually uh, against Park was actually a draw over with two away wins. However, the first first was definitely Park won in Copenhagen because of a um, red card. Judging from that, I guess this could be a tightish game. Um, I really hope. Park. I, I, I would hope the Pauk make, makes it through. The other Danish team was also drawn against Leicester. I'm actually sure that Randers are quite happy that they can play a big team against Leicester, like Leicester and hope not that the Corona num numbers that they can have a full stadium. So that would be uh, fine. Then Bode against Celtic, I think, is one of those really, really interesting ones uh, because Bode has a chance here. I actually think that Bode has a chance against Celtic. Uh, Gotta see. Uh, then Partisan against Sparta, an Eastern duel, but that actually I think has a lot of... I mean, I honestly, at this point, I want to have Partisan play against Rapid Vienna because uh, so many Partisan fans are living in, in Vienna. We saw it against the Gesar Zagreb. Uh, this could, could make for a great ad atmosphere, uh, two great um, um, supports against each other. But, you know, Sparta is also a big team in the Czech Republic, so I think... While not many people will have their eyes on that one, I think it's an interesting one. And then, of course, uh, we don't know whether it will be Spurs or Vitesse. The signs are that Spurs will actually have a default loss against the Rennes, which would mean this would make Vitesse go in there, uh, which means that Rapid actually would have a shot. Although Dutch teams have been really, really, really good against Spurs, I don't give Rapid any, any chances. So, with all that, uh, again... Roma and Feyenoord are already through the next round, so that's why they're high. Uh, Leicester, though, as you can see, are clear favorites. And you see most of the teams, uh, except for Spurs, who still have to kind of win against the Rennes, and we, we don't know that, so they are down. Um, but the same as before, conditional, uh, it would be a different picture. But since uh, many of the teams are still have to play the playoffs, uh, they have to move. Um, uh, we have to see how it moves on. But I think we can already see the tendency that uh, most of the Europa League teams are favored over the ones coming from 
the uh, conference league, the, the runners up from the conference league, which kind of makes a little bit sense. Roma, Feyenoord and Leicester are conditional on advancing to the round of 16, which actually be Spurs. But as I said, that might not be Spurs ahead of Leicester. Uh, I think those dolls are two favorites and then Roma, something like that. In any case, those are my thoughts on the Europa League and the Europa League Conference League draws. And next up will be the Champions League draw, which of course will be loads of fun. In any case, let, 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 let me know what you thought about the draw and how you see things going forward. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!